everybody welcome back we are here and we are going to do a haul another craft haul we're gonna have a couple of these this fall I think maybe this might be the last one I don't know we'll have to see depending on what I have planned to make if I need stuff but I think this is the I think it's the last we'll see I'm getting quite the um, stuff back here so I don't have to keep going to the store to get stuff so I have it here when I want to do it so <clears throat> I had showed you in a previous video of the um, coffin thing from all things crafty and I started a bag behind me and I have some foam board but it's white so if I use the white I have to paint it. Well, I don't want to paint it. I found that they have black, so I don't have to paint it. It's already here. I'll just have to do something with the sides. So I picked up two pieces of that. Now hopefully I won't need more than that. So I'll put that over there so you can see. Oh, my chair's on the way. There's the foam board right here. There's the coffin stuff. And then over here, is my box full of fall flowers and stuff like that for and there's some stuff over here so i have it all here so let's get into the haul so i went to walmart my hardware store and dollar tree so i will be right back i'm back all righty so Dollar Tree, Walmart, I think it's just Dollar Tree, Walmart, and my hardware store. So, okay. So, let's do Dollar Tree so I can move some of this stuff around. Okay. Now, my farmhouse project stuff, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I'll get stuff done when I can get stuff done with it, you know. But I wanted to make a sign for the laundry room on the door. And I found this. It says laundry room right there. So I can find a, um, and then it has the sort, wash, dry, fold. So <coughs> this is how they have it right here. But I thought this would be fun to put on, to make a sign on my door. So I grabbed this. This is a project that's going to, be going so I'll put that over here I got a huge pile then I needed for my skeleton that I want to make with my sticks I needed wire I can't find my wire I don't know where it is so I bought some more so I have wire and that's gonna go in my skeleton bag um, that's right here right behind me now the, um, I don't know why I bought this, because Hubby probably has some of this out in his shop, but this is thin pieces, and this is for that pumpkin, um, thing I had showed you before, making this and making it into a, like, um, yeah, a bouquet. So this is the sides. I've got the sides right here. So I got those right there. And I grabbed these for the bottoms. So like I said, I probably didn't have to buy this stuff, but my hubby will have this out in his shop. But I grabbed them. And let's see. Okay, now last year... I don't remember who it was and I know I talked about it in one of my videos is that they used I think it was um, um, crafty what's her name crafty girl vlogs crafty I'm horrible at remembering names guys um, let's see if she has a video coming up I don't think she has um, she just moved to Florida. Uh,
crafty girl vlogs, crafty She's got some, actually I don't know. Well, the easiest thing to do is to look. Let's see. That's her, yep. Crafty Girl Blogs. Now, she does weekly vlogs, sometimes daily, but um, last year before she moved and she did kind of like a haunted, um, creepy Halloween setup and she used these houses, I think it's hers that I saw. She used them and another lady used them. Um, these houses and made a little village, right? Just painted them all black. And I don't remember what they did to make it um, glow. I don't remember. I'll have to find the video. And, well, last year, this is the one I found. That's the only one I found from my Dollar Tree. So this time I found a bunch. I've got two plus the big one. So I put the big one on the side and then I have three of these now. So I can make my town. I'm so happy and I can finally use it. So a year late and that's usually what happens with most of my stuff, it's a year late. So that's gonna be another little project that as soon as I find, see, you can see the difference in the, the tags. This is the crafter square. And this is what it had last year. Right here. So, yeah. So now I have all of them so I can make my little town if I want and set it up. So that's another one. I'm going to set that behind me with my skeleton stuff. And hopefully it will still be there. I grabbed, um, whoops, more of this Spanish moss because I needed it for the coffin thing. I didn't think I was going to have enough. So I bought more and that one's a little bit different colored. And then I needed the potion bottle for that. Well, my Dollar Tree is a little behind. They have some Halloween stuff out, some fall stuff out, but they only have like a half of a thing of Halloween. It's not all out. Well, they used to carry these little bottles. They had them in with the craft um, area. In my, in my um, Dollar Tree, they had them where you get the glue sticks and all that, the wood stuff. They had them on a shelf because I got the little teeny ones for last year's. Um, my witch house, I wanted the little potion bottles to put in there, but they only had the little ones last year. I didn't want the big one. Well, now I need a big one to do that coffin thing. So they had these. They had these in the, where the candles and all that are. This is the, um, it's a fat bottle. It's not a tall skinny one, but I grabbed two of them in case one broke. So I grabbed two. I'm just gonna dump the shells out. I should probably find something to do with these shells because I have a drawer over here with miscellaneous stuff in it and I have seashells in it. So I'll take these shells out and put them in a baggie, but I'll use these for the potion, potion part of it. So that will go in there. And I think, I think, let me find a pencil find a pencil because I my list right here I check stuff off as I get it I have they didn't have the skeletons out yet I have skeletons so I can use the ones I have I was kind of looking for a little bit bigger ones but they didn't have them. Walmart didn't have any either so the potion bottle I can cross that off so really all I need is the skulls and I can actually use these ones that I'm going to put on that tree uh, I don't know. We'll see. And I got everything else. I found that I had the lights and everything. So I have everything right now. And I can make this. So I have everything. So that's cool. I got everything for that. Took me a couple weeks, but I have it all. Okay. And then I have... Since I'm going to be doing a lot of um, glue gun stuff, I wanted to make sure I had more glue. And I think I've got four 
of these. I think I have four. I'm going to set those. And I have some, because I stored over there on the block. You can see some right there. Okay, what else I got? I got another one of these for um, a floral thing. Like if I do those pumpkins, I'm going to need something to put the flowers in. You know, stick them in. So I did grab one of these. I know I have another one, but... And then I grabbed some of these little wooden blocks. And this is for one of the um, all things crafty. Like I, I said, I have written down on my little list. I have my farmhouse list is right here. Lists is right here. And I needed those little... I can't remember what for, but there was something I wanted to make. I needed them. So I remembered to grab those this time. So I have those. I needed more tacky glue for my reborning. That's what I glue the hair in with. I needed more of this because I'm almost, I'll buy like three of them. And as soon as one gets empty, I'll buy another one. So I have extras. Um, here's the other glue. There's the two other, two other glue sticks. Now my, um, these candles are hard to find. Um, these are taper candles and I'd like to find orange ones or black ones for my fall. And I thought I had orange ones. I gotta go through my drawer up there. But I have red, but one of my red ones broke. But you can melt it and put it back together. Um, but I needed an, um, white and I didn't have white. So I grabbed four of them. So these will go upstairs and I'll put them in my drawer with the other ones as soon as I find them. And then part of the farmhouse stuff from <coughs> beside my bed. Dollar Tree has had these for a little while. I wish they were the black and white, not the red and white, but because they're, but I have crap underneath my little end table that I have next to the bed. Jeff's has his candy and stuff. So I was gonna put these underneath so it looks better underneath there. So I grabbed two, one for him, one for me. Cause I keep books and stuff in mine. So this stuff is gonna go upstairs. So we'll put that down here. That's gonna go upstairs. I grabbed, oh, while they had it, I grabbed some more ribbon. So I grabbed four of them. And I don't know how many I have over there already. I think I have three left. And one of these is gonna, I need to make another bow. So, um, I'm gonna put that in here. That there. Okay, another bag done. Well, I hope you enjoy these hauls. I like doing them. Who doesn't, you know? You like to go shopping and stuff, you know? And to do these. So they're, they're a lot of fun. So I hope you're enjoying these so far. If you are, make sure you like and subscribe, you know? Comment down below, tell me where you're from. Um, okay, now this section I got from Walmart. Now, I don't know if, I know these are farmhouse, you know, and they're the lamb's ear, and you get two for $2 at Walmart. So I grabbed two sets of these. There's two in a, two in a bundle, so there's two, I got four. So I can make some more farmhouse, whatever, and I like use, doing them for swags and stuff, but I did grab two more of these. Grab two of those. Um, oh, this here's the rest of my um, Dollar Tree stuff. That's and I grabbed these bags for my Beetlejuice October Daily, and they didn't have the smaller bags. So what I'm thinking is I can make this in half, split this in half, split it in half re-glue it so 
I can still use it because it's too big. I don't want it this big for what I want to do with it. So I grabbed two of these. These were a buck. They didn't have any small ones though. I wanted the smaller ones, but that's okay. I can still, I can cut this. I'll have an extra one, whatever. So I did grab two of those. That will go in my pile for the October daily. And this is the rest of the Dollar Tree stuff. I knew I had more than what I had gotten. I grabbed some of these Jenga, what do they call them, Jenga, tumble, they call them tumbling tower. But to, she, um, all things crafty, one of the things that she made was using these and these, and I didn't have any, so I made sure I got them. So I'll have to go back through. I probably won't use them right away, but I have them if I need them. I grabbed this card because it's purple, and it says Boo to You for the Beetlejuice. And it says, Hope your Halloween is haunting happy. But use it as a filler or whatever. You can put a picture on the back and you can journal in the inside or whatever. So I grab that and you can always use the envelope. So I'll put that with that stuff too. I just thought it would be good. Now this is, I have not done stenciling. So, and I tried to find stuff for the farmhouse stuff. I'm trying to find stuff for that and I haven't really, that's why I haven't, you haven't seen any videos on it yet. Is because I'm trying to find stencils that I will use and I hate to buy them and only use them once I, I you can resell them or whatever but so this one is just a um, uh, just you know you could put it underneath a wording or whatever I thought it was pretty so I grabbed one so I do not have any stencils so this is my first one and then I grabbed a small alphabet so you can do um, you know you can make your your um, like I want to do farm fresh eggs for the kitchen and I can use this to do that not quite sure how yet but yeah and this is one that is the different kind of alphabet so I got three so, and I'm still looking for other stuff. Like I said, that's going to be an ongoing thing. And then one of the things that she made, she used, um, she made the barn door kind of thing. And that's what I'm going to do with that, um, those wooden signs. And But these are the hinges that you can use. I thought this would be good, but this will also be good for, um, Scrap, scrap working and stuff. So I grabbed two of those ones and I grabbed one of these ones. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? They're not metal. They're just stickers. Aren't they pretty? So I grabbed those. So not sure where I'm going to put these because I might put them over in my little... I have two empty drawers over there so I might put stencils in one and these little thingies in another one because I could have sworn that I put another one over here on my desk when I was over there the other day, and it might have fallen, but I could have sworn I found some more of these, so that's going to go over there. Okay, lastly, I have, I I, when I was getting my fall stuff out, I have a basket, a box full of baskets. And I have this one. This one's cute. And it is a, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's one of those stupid expensive ones. I can't remember what they called it. Anyway, they had a fall um, that you could put, like, on... A table whatever just a cute little fall thing now I found it and I put my stuff upstairs and it's kind of full <laughs> I have everything full 
But as soon as I clean off my, um, where I put my DVDs and her scrapbooks, I have the games sitting up there. I need to bring the games back down here and set them somewhere. I need a spot for games. But I can, I'll have that whole surface right there that I can decorate. So I thought about doing that, doing a, a fall um, tablescape kind of thing. So I found this and I got it out so I could use it. So that's still, I don't know, thing kind of thing. But then I went to my hardware store and I grabbed more of these. So the, there are thin pieces of wood. Now I don't have to keep asking my hubby for stuff. And these are paint sticks. And they give them out to you if you're buying paint, but I'm not buying paint. So how many did I get this time? Three, six, eight, nine, ten. I grabbed ten this time. And ten here, and I think ten here. And they only charged me two bucks. That's pretty good for extra pieces of wood. So I have a bucket over here that I have them in. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that I have enough here so when I want to make my stuff I can but I know that if I have to if I need more of these I can go down to my hardware store and buy them you know so I can get them so yeah so I grabbed ten of these too one two three six and ten so I bought ten each these are the little bit bigger ones and I have the smaller ones and I have the big huge ones so I think I got enough of this stuff to get me going when I decide what I'm going to do and then oh it's dirty I grabbed this from my uh, family dollar it's just plain black and I thought this would be good. I was going to put it up on my stove for the non-holiday um, times because it's farmhouse black and white. So it's black. Yeah, so that's got to go upstairs. That was a buck. And then for my reborning, <clears throat> in order for the closed mouth baby dolls to take a magnet, I modify the pacifiers. Well, I use magnets to put them on. And this is probably the most expensive way to do it. These are six bucks a piece. So 12 bucks, so I can do one, two, three. I can do three dolls with this one. And I can make one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I don't use these big ones. Let's see, there's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dolls, I can do this. And I have some um, small, thinner ones that go on the, the passes themselves. So these go into the vinyl, so they're strong enough to, to hook to it. So these are the things I use. So that is it for this little crafty haul. So I think that's it. For my stuff so far <laughs> so far so that is it I just that is that's all that I did find I had one skull um, and I knew I had one left over from the last couple of years and I knew I had some cheesecloth that one picture I showed you in that uh, book Um, right here. I have two books that I'm using. So, this. And I already have the spiders. And I have an, um, an old candle holder that I can use. So, there's another project. I got a bunch of projects going on that we're going to be able to, to do. So, this is all farmhouse stuff. So I'm gonna put that all inside there. So it's 
in one spot. There. Alrighty. So make sure you go check out the giveaways. We've got 400, 450, and 500 going on. Go check those out. We are almost to 400. Yay. It would be nice if I could get to 500 by the end of the year, but we'll see. So anyway, we I'm off to do a planner video for you, and we will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.